What I want to go through in this video is not something new. You have already seen and used this many times. In the first video, I mentioned in order to code functionally, our programming language should see functions as first-class citizens. It means we should be able to pass functions around just like any other values. In this video, we will take a closer look at higher order functions. We will go through some examples and also talk a little bit about lambda functions. Simply put, higher order function is a function that either receives one or more functions as parameters, or it returns a function, or does both. It enables us with powerful composing mechanism. We have these pure functions that receives other pure functions and provides us with new deterministic behavior. This behavior is either returning a predictable value or another pure function. Consider an array of numbers in JavaScript. You probably have used filter method on arrays before. Filter receives a function that determines if each item should be included in the resulting array or not. For example, here we are checking if an item is bigger than 2. The output of this is another array which only includes 3 and 4. Let's redesign the filter function by moving the inputs around. So now filter receives a function as a parameter first and then receives the array of numbers, which leads to the same result. The type of filter function looks like this. Filter is an example of higher order function because it receives a function that maps each value of type A to true and false. This type of input function that checks if some condition holds or not is called a predicate function. Well, again, this is not exactly TypeScript syntax, but it's much easier to observe and explain carried function types like this. Just for the sake of completeness, let's take a look at a simple implementation for our filter function. Our filter function first receives a predicate function f. It then returns another function that gets an array and finally calls the filter method on that array using our predicate function f. And this is one way of defining the filter function for arrays. But we can simplify this even more using arrow function syntax, or more generally referred to as lambda functions. Lambda functions offer a concise and readable way to define a small, simple functions. They're amazing for writing curried and higher order functions. But inherently, they have some limitations, like it's hard to implement recursive logics with them, or in JavaScript, they don't have a context object this. But what makes them so useful is that their syntax is pretty aligned with the perspective of function as a first class citizen. It's super easy to write them and pass them around. And this leads us to our next topic for higher order functions. The reason that I moved filter function parameters around and converted it into a carried function was for reusability and composability. To understand this, take a look at this example. By partially applying this predicate function to filter, we are receiving another function, which here we are naming it positive. The positive function is simply a function, ready to receive an array of numbers, and returns an array with only positive numbers included. Choosing to have the predicate function as the first parameter is a sensible design decision, since it lets us to create functions such as positive with such an elegant syntax. As a rule of thumb, when you're defining higher order functions, it's typically a good idea to put the data input parameters at the end of your parameter list. And this is only one example of this. You can create a variety of useful functions simply by applying different predicate functions to the filter function. 
Can you see the power in designing higher order functions when it comes to reusability and composability? The only thing remains to discuss relating to higher order functions is closure. I may create a separate video to go through that, but let me know what you think in the comments. And with that, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.